we're gonna be making a player name tag in Roblox Studio, or as some may call it, uh, overhead GUI. I think that's like the uh, like professional type of uh, term for it. Anyways, and in order to do that, let's first insert a dummy. So I'm gonna use a dummy right now. Uh, this is so we can test how it looks on a player, right? Okay, let's select its head right here. And in the head, we will insert a billboard GUI. So this is essential for uh, any type of like, yeah, it's a, it's a billboard GUI, it's essential. Okay, inside the billboard GUI, we're gonna put a text label, all right? Inside the billboard GUI. Select, uh, hold on, uh, on the billboard GUI. Okay, so on the billboard GUI, select always on top. And we're gonna change this, we're gonna move this a bit upwards. So we're gonna do a studs offset. Uh, 1.5, 1.5 is good. All right, then we go to the text label. I'm gonna change some stuff. Let's do background transparency. Uh, we change this to scaled, so remove the offset. So we're gonna do one, zero, one, zero. Okay, is that correct? Change the text, let's do text scaled. Bangers, bangers, okay. Uh, text stroke transparency, uh, okay. Change the text color to white. All right, it looks nice, all right. Then we can, I think that's all right, okay. Of course you can add whatever, you can customize however you want it to be. Now we have this, I think it should look, hold a minute, that looks a bit sus. Okay, let's see here, uh, billboard UI. Uh, we also want this to be scaled, otherwise it'll look just weird because I'll just get, just get like the farther away you get from it, it'll just become really big. Then you don't want that to be honest. Do one one, or actually you want to do five five maybe five five is good. Uh, three zero three zero. Okay, three zero three zero. Hold on. Yeah, so it's scale to the character. Scale to the character. Okay. Actually, you don't need the the y intercept. Not the y intercept. One more time. I can just do like one here or something. All right. So three zero one zero that would be the size, it's scaled. Okay, now we know how it looks on a player. We can now cut this. All right. Okay, get this out of the way. Let's put this in replicated storage, or if you don't want exploiters to hack it, uh, put this in server storage. Okay, paste this into here. Let's rename this to uh, name tag. And the text label to name, name. Okay. Uh, now, when you want to put them, uh, you want to put this inside the character. Whenever uh, they join a game, uh, you can do that in a server script, or well, you'll do it in a server script anyways. But you can do it in a server script service, or you can do this in a starter character scripts. Now, it's it's probably better to do it in a starter character scripts because. I don't know, I just had a better experience with that. It works like 100%, so I'm just gonna do it here. But it's different when you do in star uh, character scripts. Okay, let's remove that. All right, so we're gonna start off with local car equals script dot parent, because when you put a script here, it'll automatically transfer to the character of the player. So whenever a player joins, this script will be inside their character. Then we're gonna do, uh, okay, we got the, we're gonna make a variable for the name tag, local name tag, name tag clone, because we're gonna clone it, game.replicated storage dot name tag dot name dot, or not replicated storage, because we put it in service storage actually, sorry, service storage dot name tag clone, name tag clone dot parent equal car dot head okay name tag clone dot adorni I'm not sure what that is but I just put that to head car dot head sorry what the hell no okay forget about this all right so we've done that 
Now we change the text of the uh, overhead GUI. Name tag GUI clone dot name dot text. This is the text of the GUI. And this will equal to car.name, which is the same exact name as the username of the player. So we don't need to get the player username in order to do that. And we can just do uh, car.humanoid dot display distance type equal none this will set the uh the default name tag uh on like that's built in by roblox uh to be false so oh, not so what the hell oh sorry uh that was a typo okay so it won't uh so the default uh, player name tag from roblox this thing uh will make it invisible so right here make it invisible okay because you don't, you don't want that you don't want that okay shall we test this out now all right let's test this out let's see if this works hmm okay it works and this is my name yeah that's that's my username actually not my display name but yeah if you enjoy this video give it a like and a subscribe because um, uh, otherwise I won't be making more videos all right okay And now we're gonna fall off the cliff today. <laughs>